I've got gas. Ah, I see the resident log is going nowhere. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Today we're going to be quite busy. We actually have all of those other types of trees to plant. We're going to put in the spruce trees to mix up the pine trees. And it's just going to make this area look so much nicer because these are going to turn into those type of trees. <laughs> well, it's the same tree. It's just obviously fully grown and we have no lower branches. So it'd be much nicer to fill it in a bit and have the spruce trees in between. So um, yeah, it's going to be a really dense forest. It's going to look really good. I don't think it's actually going to be too long until these trees here are fully grown. We also have the straw to sort out over there. We have maize over here and we have some other crop at the top there which doesn't really have a lot of value to us. We're just going to sell it, I think. Oh, soybeans, that's not too bad. But yeah, it's not really a crop which we need for the pigs, for example. Uh, talking about pigs, it's looking okay. Corn and feed pellets are the two things that we need, uh, both of which we have, so that's really good. At one stage, I was actually going to be using this corn to sort of convert into pig food, because I think there is actually a mod out there. I was just trying to look for it, and I couldn't find it. But I think you put it in a pit, potentially as chopped maize, and then you convert it into the overall pig food product, which basically fulfills every requirement ever so slightly. Like, the, I don't think it really fulfills the potatoes and sugar very much. Anyway, we must get cracking. Don't want to stand around talking forever. It is a habit of mine, I know. Um, so, let's just try and figure out the best thing to do. Yeah, so the pellet production area here is busy producing the pig food pellets for us, which is going to be really good. Um, right, so yeah, we're over at the store. So what we need to do to begin with is just position this over here so that we can get those spruce trees put onto the back. I think I probably just overbuy with the other trees, so it needs to go quite as crazy. Probably two pallets in total. Maybe three? How many do we have? I just need to check and see exactly how many we have per pallet. So those are the base game trees which we've already planted. 20 saplings for a thousand pounds which is very expensive and the one which we're looking for here is the same price exactly the same so just following that idea uh, except it is th these are the spruce trees so i think well two pallets is going to be 40 40 is going to be enough because uh, they're all going to be in the same area it's just to really fill it out and actually yeah, just thinking about it i did actually find a mod called the charcoal production mod where you can well make charcoal which makes sense um, but that would be a good use of the wood. I'm not too sure if it's going to be compatible with this particular map because I know that some placeables don't work with uh, with every map. Sometimes you have to have the map set up uh, for it to be compatible with it. I don't know the exact reason why I'm guessing it has to have some extra files or something. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that is definitely a consideration. Charcoal production. If we can do it. I think what you do is you basically just put wood in, uh, then I suppose time just to create the charcoal, and then at the end you'd have the charcoal products. Uh, that's just a pure guess. I haven't really looked into it too much. I just noticed it on ModHub. But yeah, it's just another thing that we could do with the trees. Unless it works a completely different way. I really don't know. Okay, so that is good. Put two straps over. We'll put the forklift back in here. We never put it back in the same place. So it's going to have to go somewhere different. It can go over here, look. It can keep the antifreeze company, whatever it is. Anyway, um, yes, just put that there. Turn the uh, engine off. And we shall finally head off. So, yeah, we, we hand plant these. As you'll probably know, we haven't planted all the other ones. It did take some time, but it pays off in the end. Growing a forest from scratch, very satisfying. I don't think there's anything else we need to bring back from over here. Yeah, pretty sure it's everything. So just a, a nice quick job to begin with, and then we can move on to the straw, I think. We'll, we'll sort out the straw, because that field's been sat there for ages with just nothing happening in it. When we pass the crate just over here, we do need to equip the spade. Hopefully when we get back on the tractor, it doesn't remove the spade from the inventory. It might do. 
Uh, but we should see it reappear in the box if that is the case. Yep, yeah, doesn't seem to have reappeared. That is good. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this trailer right in the middle. Then we can run around like a headless chicken putting trees in. But you can see, it's getting denser. It's looking good. There we go. Uh, the ones which were put in later haven't grown too much, but they're doing okay. Right, so we have the first ten. I think it's pretty obvious where to put them, just put them in the most open spaces. The other nice thing is it does actually tell us how far away we're planting them from the one which we've already put in. Obviously it's not taking into account the uh, the trees that are already growing. But yeah, there we go. We're extending the forest. We just have about 36 left to do, <laughs> something like that. Well, I think we're almost there. We have three trees left, um, but we are getting quite full. I'm very pleased to buy the third pallet. I'm trying not to go too close to the fields because you know what it's like if you have a tree right there. If you're doing mowing or plowing or something, the tree could well get in the way. So this is the time to put them in a sensible location instead of right on the field boundary. Um, but yeah, we really are full. I don't know where we can put the final two. Oh, maybe over here. Yeah, we'll put them in here. But that's good. I really can't wait for them to grow. Sadly, it's going to be a few weeks before we actually do see trees of any decent size there. Still, very fast. <laughs> a few weeks for a tree to grow almost fully. Um, but yep, that is a job done, and it's a very good job done, environmentally, well, potentially environmentally, it depends what we're going to do with the trees, and, well, it makes the area look much nicer as well, so, it's also very satisfying, as I mentioned. Our own forest. Okay, so next job is that. I don't even know when I did that, it's been some time. I think the best thing to do is just to bale it, although we could use the loading wagon. We could actually put some straight into the uh, trough for the pigs. Well, not the trough, but the actual uh, bedding area. Oh, and I should just acknowledge those people who have been saying to use the bales from that shed over there before the bales from the shed here. It's a good point made. Uh, these are very expensive bales. These are canola bales. And the ones over there are just the standard base game straw bales, which you get with the wheat, barley and oats. So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense to use these ones first. I'm not too sure exactly how many we have. Oh, we've got quite a few. Yeah, so we'll get those um, shredded next time we do some shredding. But yeah, the, the field in question is the one which we're, we've just been looking at, the straw field. I'm thinking a loading wagon is going to be easier. I don't want to spend the rest of the episode just doing bailing and moving bales. So we could just quickly whiz over it, pick it all up, and get it taken straight to the sell point. We'll have to see what the price is like currently for canola straw. Was it canola? I think it was. Let's just take a look here. Canola is that one, I think. 151. So that's, yeah, that's a good price. Yep, okay, so we'll pick it up. We won't give this to the pigs for the reason I just mentioned. 
We're going to take him straight to the cell point. And I don't know how long it's going to take, because it's going to depend on how much we can cram into this loading wagon. It is a good one. It is quite a high capacity loading wagon. But then again, this field might have yielded quite well. Can know there is quite a tall crop, so there's going to be quite a bit of straw. Yeah, uh, already almost 10% full. Wow, look at that. You can see our pelleting area from all the way over here. It changes the landscape. I think it's better. I think it looks better than what it looked like before. Just a load of uh, undergrowth, essentially. It is just amazing to see how this farm has grown. And it's going to get even bigger. I am planning my next area. I keep thinking about the one, the plot over there in front of us. Uh, it is 80 something thousand pounds, but when we do get there, I think that is the one to go for. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be about 60% for the first lap. The, the worst thing about it is the travelling. Most of the time spent here is on going between here and the cell point. Uh, just wonder, I don't think the BGA buys it, does it? No, I'm pretty sure it's just the vehicle shop. Yeah, just the vehicle shop. So we are just going to have to do several trips. But it'd be worth it. We should be uh, raking in the money here. Is the headland removed? 68%. Yeah, actually, looking at it again, it probably will only be about three loads, possibly four. If the fourth load isn't a full load, though, we won't necessarily sell it straight away. We'll just keep it in the loading wagon until we can either use it or sell it. But there we go. We are almost full. 90%. But yes, I think this series needs more production placeables. I keep looking into them. Okay, there we go. So yeah, 35,000 litres. Not bad. So for this first load, I will just um, jump cut between here and the cell point so we can see exactly how much we're making. I think every load is going to be a very similar amount. But, yeah, it's just extra, isn't it? It just brings in a bit of money for the farm. Now, driving between here and the store has just reminded me of a comment which I have received, I think, on two episodes now um, by one of my biggest fans, I think I could safely say. Uh, Stefan, I think your name is. You comment pretty much on every video, I think. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But the comment said um, that the um, tractor that we're driving here can be upgraded to a 50k 50k gearbox in the latest update. I haven't downloaded it, but we will do. Whilst we're actually no, not whilst we're at the store. <laughs> whilst we're going past the workshop uh, back at the farm, we will get the gearbox changed because we can just do that sort of thing. We <laughs> we have the spare gearbox and we have the time and skills to do it. So <laughs> uh, yes, we will get that done. It'll be good. So that changed it from a 26 mile per hour tractor to a 32, I think. Which makes all the difference. Anyway, here we go. First load, let's just see. Yeah, it'd be good to have a faster tractor. If the option is there, we might as well go for it. It's going to cost us a bit, but I, I think it's going to be worth it. £5,311. So that might even pay for it. We will see. Anyway, I'll see you over there in the workshop. Okay. Actually, whilst we're here, just blow off some of the excess dust. Get lots of straw in the grill. There we go, it's better. And now, we can customise things. Always good to clean them before you start working on them. 
So I think the one which we're looking to get is... I think that's what we have. Oh, no, sorry, that's not. No. Um, we have a 6810, don't we? That's what we currently have, I think. And that's what we're looking for. Although... Actually, I'm confusing myself here. Let's just go to the top spec one. So it's a 6910S chip tuning 50k at 12,000 pounds. 185 horsepower. That is the one which we're looking for, I think. Um, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure it is. Did it reset anything just here? I think if we have those weights on for now and everything else can just stay the same that'll be good so we should be able to increase that to 32 or 31 there we go that's it very nice don't know exactly what I did just there but all I care about is that we have now got the 50k gearbox and we've got the most powerful engine lovely so we can try and this out during this time lapse of clearing the rest of the field. So I will see you in a second. Well, that's turned out really well. It all just about fits in the third load. I think the next thing to do is to take a look at the diesel, the biodiesel. There we go. 89%. And the extra speed really does help. Really nice to have. Anyway, regarding the diesel, what happened about three episodes back was I tried to sell some, but I think I was probably using the wrong tank. I was using the IBCs, which really are just there to refuel the other machinery from. Uh, so I've now got the tanker, which we actually bought, I think it was in the previous episode or the episode before. So we're going to try it again. We're going to load it up with diesel, which I think I've already done. We're going to take it over to the sell point, which is currently at the store. Well, it is at the store. It doesn't move. <laughs> um... And yeah, we'll um, we'll see if we can sell some. But if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna have to go back to the beginning and read exactly what you ha what you have to do exactly to sell it. But I think you do just take a tanker there. Oh yeah, and this has paid for the gearbox. I think so far I've made about ten and a half thousand pounds plus whatever we have here. Hmm, it's not animating the uh, straw coming out this time. Weird. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Looking too low. Um, so yeah, that's going to give us what another four thousand pounds. The gearbox was twelve. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. We have actually paid for the gearbox and still profited. We've profited in the end from this. So um, yeah, it's not bad going. Just for something that was sat on the ground. It paid off. So yeah, we'll go and attach to the tanker, we'll bring it up here, and we'll see what we can do with it. Just a reminder, this is biodiesel. We've actually created it completely from the same crop, actually, that we just got the straw from, the oilseed rape. Um, yeah, really a nice idea. These are the sort of placeables I want to keep doing. Very interesting. I think the greenhouse is still okay. How much manure do we have? Yeah, about half. And we're now getting all the manure from the pigs. So no more buying manure. Which is always good. 
I've, st I've got the fear on the tanker over there, so we don't actually need this tractor for that. Which is a bit of a shame, because the Fiat isn't quite as fast. But if we're going to do uh, several runs, then we'll use this tractor. But I think today it's just going to be the one. The one load. Okay, there we go. Oh yes, and we've got this as well. I think that's ready. So next time we'll open this up and we will sell it all. It's going to be an easy job. The sell point is literally just over there. The BGA. And yeah, we've got 5,000 litres in here. How much do we still have in, in there? 3,749. So we're certainly not going to be going backwards and forwards. In fact, just this one. We won't be taking partial loads. We'll keep that for our own tractors. The other thing, of course, is we could always buy a piece of land out here. We don't have to stay confined to the area that we're currently in. I just... it doesn't necessarily feel natural, though, to move out here. I think I'll probably run a vote on it when it comes to the time uh, to buy more land, but... I'll just open up the map. 37, to me, is the obvious one to go for. 36 is a bit too roady. <laughs> Lots of roads. Um... I mean, 28 is not a bad idea. Well, at least looking at this, it looks okay. But I, it, randomly buying 44, for example. I don't know if that's the best thing to be doing. I don't know. As I said, we'll run a vote. Later. Ice cream. Still there. Yep, so this is our cell point here. I'll reverse into it. See what we get. Okay, I don't seem to be getting anything. So I don't know. I, I probably have just overlooked something. Unless there is a specific tanker which works with this. It's most likely me at fault as well, not the mod. It usually is. Oh, we've got two sides actually. We'll try the other side. Maybe that's the buy side. Ah, of course. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, it clearly needs looking into. Need to figure it out. I did, um, I always have, have a good flick through my comments and I didn't actually see anything about it when I had an issue before, so... Um, I'm not saying there wasn't anybody. It could have been somebody who said what I was doing wrong. But we'll come on to that again next time. So, we'll just leave this here for now. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.